In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up email marketing for a small business. Coming up. So email marketing is crucial for a business because it helps a small business do its marketing, send out campaigns, and so on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to set it up on a WordPress website, step by step. So let's dive in and let me show you how. So right now I am logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. Now there are several ways you can set up email marketing. You can use different companies. There's MailChimp, there's MailPoet, there's ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign. So there's quite a lot of them, but of course you can choose which whichever one works well for you. But in my opinion, I would go with uh, something like uh, MailPoet because everything is in your WordPress admin dashboard rather than being hosted on a separate service. And right now, MailPoet has a fantastic deal. In fact, let me just show you quickly here. If you go to the link that I'll add in the video description below, it'll take you to MailPoet. Now, over here, you see that uh, they have a lifetime deal, by the way. So once you purchase this, it's lifetime. So how it works is you spend $49, right? You get up to 5,000 subscribers per website, which means if you're a freelance designer, you can design as many websites as you want. It's unlimited websites, as you can see here. As many websites as you want. And with each client, you can say to them, look, I'm going to give you a, um, a limit of 5,000 subscribers for your business because this is 5,000 subscribers per domain for only $49. Now, if you take a look at all these other services, including MailPoet, they have a recurring monthly charge. So who wants to pay every single month? In fact, you know, for this actual promotion, I've spent $300 to get as many subscribers as we can. I think I've got about 40,000 subscribers. So I have a plan of creating websites and then applying email marketing into them included in my plan because I have unlimited websites here and unlimited emails. So 5,000 subscribers per domain. So if you were to spend $49 right now, you can actually create as many websites as you want as long as they have up to 5,000 subscribers. And this is a very good entry in marketing yourself to small business owners. But if you want to design this for your own website, well, no problem. Let's dive in and let me show you. So over here, in fact, before I show you this, uh, we also have a MailChimp here if you're really on a budget. And they have this free plan which allows you to have 2,000 contacts. So again, 2,000 is quite a lot. So if you're doing email marketing for a small business, I mean, 2,000, they should be getting money from that through the promotions that you are making. And then that's going to allow them to afford to then come on to these paid plans. So that's another option if you're really, really on a tight budget and uh, you want to start from scratch. All right. So now that I've shown you these options, there's also a third one called ConvertKit, which is also my favorite. But um, of course, you can go with whichever one you want. Now, the beauty of this is when you come over here to your WordPress admin dashboard, and by the way, we're using Divi, and if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi and WordPress. All right. So over here, I've already gone ahead and installed MailPoet. And uh, once you install it, it has an entry over here. So the next step now is to come over here to lists. So this is where you want to make sure you add all your subscribers to specific lists. So in this case, let's say you want to do a promotion for that kind of, uh, that particular business. And this promotion could be maybe a 20% discount. So what you do is you create a brand new list here. You can call it 20% uh, promo. And then you can add some description text here just to remind you what it is. But this will not be shown to the actual users. So once you hit save, now we have this list called 20% promo. So let's say you have maybe it's Valentine's or it's uh, Black Friday and throughout all your products, the 20% offer, you want uh, all the people that sign up for the 20% off promo to be added onto this list because once they're added here, you can then go in and create emails specifically to those subscribers or those people that signed up for the 20% discount. And this is how the email marketing engine works. It's very, very powerful. Okay, so now that I've created a list, 
The next step now is where do we have the form, the opt-in form for people to go in and leave their name and email address in order for them to get a 20% discount. And by the way, before I move on to the next step, over here, you can have as many lists as you want. So you can call one Black Friday, you can call another one Valentine's, you can call another one, I don't know, uh, competition or whatever it is, or free giveaway. All these will be listed here and you can actually see how they're performing by taking a look at your stats here, how they're opening the emails and so on. And pretty much all these other email service subscribers, they operate the same. So if you're going to ConvertKit, it shows you how many, um, your open rate, your click-through rate, and so on. So it's very, very powerful. So now that we've created our list, the next step is to have a dedicated landing page, which we, uh, we can add our opt-in form onto. So let's go ahead and do that. So over here, I'm going to come and click on Add New. So I'm just going to add a brand new page. And by the way, I'm using Divi for this. So let's call this 20%. Promo. Let's use the Divi Builder. So the most important here, the most important thing here is to build your opt-in form. So now that I have this all set, I am going to choose a pre-made layout because I just want to design this really fast because the idea is the form. The form is what we really need. Okay, so let's take a look here and see which landing page we can use for this promo. Right. So let's go with uh, let's say let's go with this flower layout. I'm going to click on use this layout. So the beauty of using these pre-made layouts is it makes it very, very easy for you to go in and customize your designs or using the base that we have from these pre-made layouts because it takes a lot a longer time to go in and design everything from scratch. So by doing it this way, you know, it's very straightforward. We have the foundation already. All we have to do is to go in and change the images and so on. Okay. So now that we have our landing page here, this is great. So what we can do, so we can see here we have a 35% off. In fact, this is a very good uh, way, a uh, very good option here because we can add our opt-in form right here. So let me just see what we can keep and what we can remove. In fact, you know what? We can actually add our form right here. Let's do that. So if I click here on this plus button, in fact, let's, let's click here on this plus button. So we need an email opt-in. So I'm going to select it. And now we have our email opt-in in place. The next step now is to remove this title because we don't need that. We also don't need all this text. And then we want to come over here to design layout. And we want to have body on top, form on the bottom, like that. Great. So this is now taking shape and this is looking great. Now over here we have first name, last name, email. We don't really want to take too much information from our subscribers. So what we need to do is to get rid of this last name. So to do that, we want to come over here to content. And then on fields, we can just remove the last name. So now we only have the first name and email address. Great. And we might as well uh, get rid of this background. So let's go ahead here and uh, just make it transparent. So background is gone. All we have now is our fields. So I'm going to save this. Now over here, you can see we have this button here. We don't need that anymore because we can just use this as our main opt-in. And then over here, this is where we can add our title. So we can say 20% off. We can just call this special or something. There you go, 20% off special. And then we have a bit of a description text over here. And then now we can go in and customize this form. So to do that, we just wanna go into our settings here and let's start by adjusting our size. So we're going to come over here to sizing and reduce our width because the form here is just way too much. Um, we're going to align it to the left. Now let's go ahead and customize our fields. So I'm going to go in here, click on this little icon. Now what I want to do here is to just add a border around it. So let's go and find where our border is. And here it is. I'm just going to add two pixels here. And then... Let's look for our color. So with the color, I normally like just going like really nice transparent um, color like that. So this is our black and we've just reduced that slider all the way down to make it transparent. Okay, great. The next step now is to work on our button. And here we need to activate use custom styles for button. And then we're just gonna add our color for our button here. Okay, so we need to add a background. And here on the background color, we can use something quite bright as well. This will work fine. And we're going to do the same for the border. 
and pretty much we have everything all set. So this is the design for our landing page. The next step now is to connect this form so that when people leave their name and email address, they get added onto that email list that we created earlier on, if you remember. So to do that, let's come back over here to content. So this is where now we need to go in and say, okay, uh, email account, change this from MailChimp. And by the way, by default, DV has quite a lot of email autoresponders here. As you can see, there's quite a lot of them. ConvertKit, Emma, MailChimp is there as well. But we want to use MailPoet because that's the one we set up for our website. So if I click here on this drop down, we see that uh, our list is not showing yet. Let's call this uh, 20%. Okay, we're going to hit submit. And now we're able to see our list. And here it is. 20% promo is the list. So this is all connected now. So when people add their name and email address, they're going to be added onto this 20% promo email list that we created in the first step. So that's looking great. Now, what you can even do further is to add a success action. So instead of just having a message saying success, we can customize this text and say, oh, thank you for uh, signing up for the 20% deal. Check your email for more information. So we can just type it over here or we can have a specific page here which the user is redirected to as soon as they add their name, email address, and they hit subscribe. So this is very, very powerful. And also on this button here, it says subscribe, but we can go in and change this button and name it whatever we want. So uh, if we come back over here, you see here where it says subscribe, we can say get my offer. So you can really customize this to, you know, to say whatever you want. And you can also change the font here by coming over here to design. And then you want to go to button and look for the font. And then we can change this to whatever font we want. So we can go with that just to match our heading there. And once we're done, we can hit save. So now that we have this landing page, and by the way, you can uh, delete any information that you may not need here. And if you want to customize this into a totally different uh, design, you can go ahead and do that and add your own images. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this as it is. And in fact, we don't need this contact form because we don't want too many things here on this page. Okay, testimonials are fine. Get rid of the map and the delivery info, we don't need that too. Okay, so we've simplified this. This is looking great now. So this is what we can use now to collect all our emails. So once this page is done, you wanna hit publish, and then you wanna take this URL that is, uh, in fact, let's hit exit visual builder here. There we go. So this is our special. So what we need to do is to take this URL now, and this is the URL that we promote on social media. We promote it pretty much everywhere on the internet and try and get as many people to sign up onto this form as possible. So pretty much this is how you set up email marketing on a small business site. And like I said, it's very, very powerful. And I would advise you to start doing this to all your websites or your client's website. This adds more value and this makes your website even work and get you more leads. All right, so that's what I have for you. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.